What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Welcome to episode three of the Ultimate Movie Championship with Ray Taylor and Keith Spurlock. Let's get into this episode right now. Da, 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 da. I already had it set up. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so for those, yeah, you go. Go. Uh, you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this is a this is a game on Flick Chart. We'll just call it the Flick Chart game. This is on Flick Chart. You can check our account, flickchart.com slash idp, um, and you will get to see the list that we're compiling of, according to this website, our favorite movies. Uh, where it pits two movies against each other in our first challenge, we have. Big, the movie with Tom Hanks from 1988, against Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King from 2003. So we have to choose between those two, which we feel is the best movie. And through our choices, we will compile a list and we will discuss movies and all these things. So you can always check out our flick chart flickchart.com slash idp so let's get this going all right, going all right big wait. versus Lord of the first Rings. first off before we start this like uh, I'm assuming two. What is that? The second one, Return of the Return King? of the King, or is, is that the, the first third? One? Oh, okay, it's uh, Fellowship. So two, that's two towers. This is easy. But then. here is the thing. Uh, here, Th- this okay. pic- this poster. Yeah. Oh, that's a badass. Poster. From the Hobbit. Oh well, that's fine. It's not from the Lord of the Rings. Okay. Because there's no fucking dragon in the Lord of the Rings. Okay. Jesus. It's really bothering for. Vid- me. for Audio listeners, Keith is going off on well, if what they gonna, do. If, is I like their randomly, alternate. I, I like their alternate okay. posters, but get somebody, them right. Somebody tagged it wrong. Someone bro. fucked up. Somebody and tagged I don't, it I wrong. I don't like that. Keith getting really upset over a super geeky thing, and I don't even believe you're that big of a Lord of the Rings fan, or are you? Oh shit, fucker! Man. I will stab you. I was like, like well, goddamn a order. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I've never seen you watch it. You've watched way more other things way more often than, than Lord of the Rings. And you don't talk about it much. Clearly by that, I get it. Don't, it's okay. Calm down. This is not, this is not Hulk. We're not Hulk because he's not your favorite, apparently. So where does this stack, just out of curiosity, where do the Lord of the Rings stack in comparison to your comic book fandoms? Is it bigger or, or less than comic books overall? It's less than Star Wars, okay. more than Star Trek, on par with superheroes. Okay, so you like it as much as like the comic book shit? Yeah. But have you watched the movies that much? Oh, yeah. I own okay. them. I've watched them okay. a hundred times. How many endings does Big have? That's my problem with this movie. Yeah, yeah. But the just, rest of the movie yeah. is great. As a whole, it's a it's the a masterpiece. The last half hour it's a masterpiece. is just a, yeah. It's, hey, it it's ends an ending. With three times. Hey, it's an ending. And one hey, of those it's an one of those endings is a really weird, almost looks like soft core pedophile huh? porn, uh-huh. like where where like he's in all, the bed. Yeah, and he's just waking soft up, lighting, and, and everybody's yeah. coming in. They're like, you've see, you've seen the weird yummy. meme video of like they they put uh, weird sound like oh, it sounds no. like Gandalf's going. And then it's got Frodo going. Maybe yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's, but anyway. it's very weird. It's, yeah, they talk about it in Clerks too, where he makes making fun of it. Where oh yeah, the oh so common, gay scene. Yeah, uh, but so none. But, I love Big too, but as oh, it's a like, movie, there's no sequel, man. As a movie, Big, Big, I, shimmy shimmy Coco Pop, shimmy shimmy Rock Rock. My uh, mom said sixteen triscuit. She said ten ten biscuit. I don't. It's been a while since I've watched ice it. Ice cream soda you pop, got vanilla the on the scene. top. Ooh, Ooh Johnny, walking, walking down, down the, the street ten, ten times, times a week. week. I, I said it. I meant it. I stole my mom's, mom's credit. credit. I'm, I'm cool. cool. I'm hot. You Suck me in the face. Or, or stomach. It, yeah, it was stomach, stomach. A few more times. Yeah. See, come on. I get it. What's the song from uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings? I have a ring. I have a ring. It's visually. Dude, one hundred percent. Dude, I love Dude. big. I love big. Dude, listen. If this was versus other Lord of the Rings, different story. 
What if this what one if, in particular? The end was not that good. The CG was not that good at the very end. Yes, and it then was. it ends three times. All the all the, no. all the Hobbit shit is when they get is to wack, the volcano but, and he throws the fine. thing. It looks so bad. It looks like he's running in a green screen where they sh- fucked up the perspective of shit. It doesn't look real at all. It looks so. The ending of this movie falls apart. Nothing falls apart on this one. This is a solid. Classic, oh, Tom Hanks wait. film. Nothing falls. Nothing falls apart in that. Yeah, the fact that a major corporation uh-huh. makes this fucking kid, yeah. who uses his own fucking name, yeah, with no identification, yeah, and gets a job. Also, yeah. he is a missing person. Same name. Oh, in yeah. that general vicinity, yeah, and no one looks into that shit. No, and then making him no. vice president of yeah. of toys. Yep. That compared makes to the sense. logic of Lord of the Rings, that, if you this wanna, is a fantasy. If you want to talk about this, is supposed to be reality. set in the real world. Oh yeah, a a, a kid real turning into an, an adult. A kid turning into an adult. The logic documentary is basically, basically a documentary. Basically, listen, way better CG because that he like the fact that they turned that kid into Tom Hanks back then. <sighs> Nothing looked. It looked so real. There was I no Uncanny big. Valley. So this one, I'm so you gotta I, bend, still, bro. No, I you gotta I'm, bend. I'm you still, gotta bend. I'm still arguing. Because here's my... the thing. I enjoyed the Lord of the Rings movies, but they don't impact me on any level other than they do the to fact me. how ep- I'm telling other you about me. Big. I'm yeah. telling you about me. That means very little to me in comparison to this. This holds a lot more of my soul. Then that that movie, partic- especially that particular one, if this was, it would still be big with all the other ones, but this one's the easiest out of all the Lord of the Rings movies I to go with I think it's probably big. the best. And it's not like this is going not going to come up again. It's not like the other one gets discarded as the worst movie ever. It's we're compiling a list of our favorite movies as a All show, right. and if we were to I add will, up, I will, I will if we bend. Up, if we we have coins, we have love coins for each of this. I I, I will bend if you. Give me I've given that, you. I, if I, you give me that, if this was the uh-huh. Lord of the Rings trilogy versus Big, that's that would be more then, difficult. Then, that would then be way more say, difficult. I might go with Lord of the. I don't know because that's not going to come up. But that would be difficult. That would be difficult. Because I will bend if yeah. you will concede I, that. that the thing. As as a trilogy. Yeah, yeah. With a matchup like that, I would be more willing to bend. But right. when it's that one of the three, come on, bro. I li- I'm, come. On, I get it. But come on. I'll bend just because they like... used the wrong goddamn okay. picture. Awesome. Sweet. Love it. Big. <laughs> Man. It's the first one I've had to like die for. So we got Fargo I versus seen Godfather. Godfather Part 2. I haven't seen any of the, the Godfathers. One. I've watched Suck them. at people who don't fucking, who want to be pissed about it. Um, I've seen them, but don't really. I watched them like 23. I've never watched that was Scarface all the way through either. Not but I've seen good. the entire movie. Yeah, it's not that good. Scarface isn't that good. Um, Godfather's supposed to be good, but it's it's like so slow and fucking. Uh. Okay, Fargo versus Three Hundred. Easy. It's easy for me too. Fargo. Thank you. <laughs> it's like Three Hundred was really amazing. It's an amazing. You but- can take any frame. I'm kind of mad at Zack Snyder right now, so I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going with Fargo. Respect that. Respect. <laughs> respect timing on that one for sure. Well, even if Zack Snyder, even if Zack Snyder, if that's all he did and that was like his that one movie thing, is a fucking masterpiece it, unto itself in visual. Visually, it's you can take any but frame Fargo of that is movie. A better movie. You can take every frame of Three Hundred and f- and make a poster of it. Still and fucking sell make so much money just on the prints which there's a movie based on Van Gogh and every frame oh, of that movie a is a painting, painting and they have like, like a whole three minutes, warehouse but it's fucking no they're doing a full length movie they're just trying to raise money with that three minute trailer so they can pay everybody to because it's like oh yeah because thousands of artists like a billion dollars for a thousand artists to try to do it's not that much and it's way better than any animated thing ever because every frame is and they'll be able to sell the they'll be able to make money it's it just looks crazy because every frame is going to be an oil painting done in the style of van gogh every fucking second then except for that those would be prints they have the actual they're actual oil paintings yeah that's what I'm saying and you like, could sell every too. fucking oh yeah yeah that's, and they probably will 
but uh, so Fargo. Fargo whew, beats three hundred. Three hundred. Zach. Snyder. I remember watching three hundred, and all of the uh, the San Diego fraternity dudes showed up in their fucking loincloths, and he was like, "Okay, good job, guys." That's gonna be. Great I had to, to watch, watch it. In it's, the... it's so weird watching like really like meatheads act like fucking nerds. I had to watch so it weird. in the front row. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Because there was wait n- front front row front like, front row that. Yep. That's how I watched Cloverfield, which is that really might... not good for that movie. Oh, I guess because you're like that. looking like this and it's all over the place. But the dude, I went with three hundred wasn't bad from the front row, yeah. but there was that's a lot of a head turning. Scene. Yeah. Like because you just can't. Mm-hmm. I find it amazing that how empty that theater we go to all the time is. I mean, I yeah, guess we the, go on the week day. Not always. Well, I mean, Friday early show. I mean, that's generally Fridays are going to be busy after everybody gets off work and school and shit. Yeah. But we go at a good time. Fargo. Fargo. The TV series is good too, Fargo. Uh Hannibal 2001. <laughs> And versus Fifty First Dates, Hannibal. Yeah. Uh, and Hannibal's not even that great of a movie. No, they're both not. But Hannibal. But yeah. Fifty First Dates is kind it's of just terrible. not a very it's good not... movie. It's just I can't remember but anything. I didn't wasn't confused with what was going on. I just didn't agree with what was going on. Uh, Life of Brian versus Ice Age, Continental Drift. Haven't well, that's seen... Ice Age Four. So we haven't. Have yeah. you seen that? Yes, I okay. have. Okay. I haven't seen Ice Age 4. Uh, Quantum of Solace, have you seen that one? Yeah. Okay. Life of Brian. Life of Brian, for sure. Monty Although, Python in wait, the which house. which one was Quantum of Solace? That's the newest one. It, oh, no, that's 2008, Quantum of Solace. Oh, whatever. It's the yeah, fucking Life one that's not as good as Life of Brian. Uh, Blade Runner versus I Star Wars seen Episode Blade Runner. 2. And it's I want to see. It. Yeah. I it's on Netflix, it's on Netflix now, yeah. and I want to see it. But yeah. like, it's a good one. It's I never just old, so it's slow. I never. Well, I don't care about that. Yeah, cause yeah. I just it hasn't been the right. Like it hasn't been dark. I haven't wanted to kick on the projector. Like I For don't sure. want to watch it on my computer. Okay, I, there's so, got to be. We'll do a review of Blade Runner. We'll watch That'd it. Be and fun. Review it. Yeah. They're supposed to be doing a sequel to it, so it's kind of. And it's supposed to be uh what's his face? And uh, w- whatever whatever is gonna be up next besides Blade Runner, which I vote for Blade Runner in this, and I've never even seen it. Yeah, but yeah. whatever else is gonna come up, I almost guarantee I'm gonna pick it over Star Wars Episode Two. Me too. And I'll fight you. And I mean, it could be really not good. Shrek Two. I've versus- seen Shrek Two. <laughs> Star Sh- Wars Episode Shrek two. two. I like Shrek Two. By Puss in far. Boot introduction. Yeah, that's where Puss in Boots comes from. Uh, Antonio Banderas oh, with your Puss in Boots character. Uh, Fiona is a troll this whole time. According to the poster, number one comedy of all time, which Star Wars was not <laughs> number one comedy. Well, it could have been. Could well, first one maybe. Uh, unintentional comedy. Yeah. Uh, all right, terrible so movie. Shrek two. Shrek two. Uh, Home Alone. Holy cow. <laughs> Home Alone. <laughs> Home Alone versus uh, The Lost World Jurassic Park, 97. That was a sequel. That was the San Diego one. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, Home Alone. Home Alone. Man, Home Alone's came up before. Well, it's got a, it's it's figuring out where to put it on the list and everything. So it's judging by <laughs> other movies. Wild Wild West versus Being John Malkovich. Both 1999 movies. Both movies year I saw we in the theater. Yep, I started working at the movie theater that year. And uh, although I think I saw Being John Malkovich when I started working at Blockbuster, because that's an independent, obscure shit. And have you seen? You seen both? I've seen both. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, one of these is just not a good movie. Wild Wild West <laughs> is fun and terrible at the same time. I'm not even. It's not a good. Really... It's not even a good bad movie. Yeah. But when I when I saw it, I was like. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those whatever. It's it I tried to be funny. It's I remember goofy, it's the dumb, it, the, like giant the steampunk metal thing spider yeah. kind of came like steampunk kind of stuck around after that movie. I'm sure it was around before that, but I saw it a lot more, just kind of being a cultural thing. I had heard the but, giant spider story from Kevin Smith. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so and that kind of and all of a sudden the giant spider ended up in that. Uh, yes, being John being Malkovich, John Malkovich. Is a much better movie. One of the best, one of my favorite screenwriters. Uh, fuck, what's his name? He did uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. He did uh, 
bunch of other. He's like one of the most creative screenwriters ever, and his his movies, uh, Synecdoche, New York, and uh, Anomalisa were his two director. The Anomalisa one was a stop motion. Great writer, one of the best writers. So, being John Malkovich for sure. Um, dun dun dun. Greece versus Scarface. Now, here's the thing. I don't think I could say I've seen Greece. What? Because my mom had has watched it, but I don't know if I've ever seen the whole thing. I know I've seen parts of it, like just you know, uh, my mom's watching something on the TV, and then I go back to my room. But I don't think I've seen the whole thing. I mean, if I have, I'd still have to go Scarface, even though I don't like Scarface. I, I, so I, I'm. That's why I'm saying I'm not. I, 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 I think can't, we I don't need think to. I, have I think seen we it. need to change both of them because I can't. I have seen Greece, but well, I've never seen, seen, seen Scar- Scarface. I've seen all of Scarface, mm. but I've never seen it all the way through. Yeah. In the same way that you've probably seen all of Greece, but you've never seen it all the way through. I've seen parts of it. Like I know I've seen Sound of Music I all the way through. Haven't seen either. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Which is fine. And I kind of say fuck both of those movies. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but at least there's songs in Greece, and they're catchy as fuck. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they're catchy. Iron Man, which is the first one, 2008, right? Yeah. Versus Sweet. I've never seen Sweeney Todd. Neither have I. So, which is and because, I've heard it's terrible. Yeah, because fuck. And it's a musical. Yeah. Were those friends? Do we have friends on here? I don't know how that works. Maybe we'll check it out later. Uh, so Iron Man versus 2003 Hulk. Wow. Ang superhero Lee. versus superhero. This is the Ang Lee Hulk yeah, with, the, uh, I don't remember the dude's name. Uh, he was like supposed to be the next big kind of actor, but it, after this, it kind of, I mean, he's still around, but he's not yeah, like the superstar. Yeah, what is his goddamn his... name? Mm, there we go. I have IMDb, just in case we had movie questions. Hulk. Oh, god damn it. It's just Hulk, right? Yeah. 2003. I like the Ed Norton Hulk. That was a good one. But I just like Ed Norton. Eric, Eric Banna. Banna. Oh, he's an Aussie. Yeah. Um, so, f- for sure, Iron Man. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That angle Although I didn't mind the, was the way he story. tried to shoot it. Yeah, yeah. But the way he kind of... Sh- he like it looked like a video game. It, I kind of... I thought it looked like a comic because it, like... Had he used the boxes at times. Yeah, he shit. used the weird like, like panel you know. instead of like a screen wipe. Yeah. He used like a panel. Yeah, wipe. panel thing. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Don't He's know. not. He kind of fell off his drag. Anyway, peace off, Fang. Um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, director, which probably is best movie that he's done. I think I have seen both of these. The Rescuers versus Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, which is the sequel. Have you seen The Rescuers? I have. Here's the thing. I have when I was really young, mm-hmm. so I don't really remember it. So because of that, I'd go with Ace Ventura. I'm when also calls, going, even though I'm not a huge. It's not. I. I mean, I for I sure like the first that one Ace more. Ventura movie. I know they're both great, but the first one I think I. Owned, Bumblebee so I saw Tuna. Yeah, man. Your balls And he comes showing. out of the rhino's asshole. Yes. Asshole. Blade one versus oh, Speed. Oh shit one. show. Uh, Speed. Speed, sweet speed. Keanu Reeves, fucking Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. I mean, Blade. Was that was kind of the fun, start of their isn't... careers in some ways. I, mean, I haven't I seen Ricochet. Uh, I have, but I don't know. so Six Sense versus being John Malkovich. Jesus, Ma- which one? I say the Six Sense. As a movie, I'm like, man, there's two parts of my brain that are fighting right now. For different reasons, yeah. Six Sense both came out in '99. Six Sense was a very crazy thing because when I was they working were both at the crazy theater, movies. It's yeah, but how the Six Sense performed in theaters was really crazy because it's, every movie starts out usually in a big theater and then they move to smaller theaters and then in the tiny theater and then they kind of go away. Six Sense was in the tiny theater because it just wasn't doing well, but because of everybody fucking talking about it. It went all the way back up to the big theater, and we were showing it. Multi- it was like, it was like the comeback story almost of movies, um, and then probably the best uh, M Night Shyamalan movie. 
So I'll go with you said six cents, right? I'll go yeah. with six cents. Being John Malkovich was amazing. It's a great movie. I don't think but that's like it's not I'll it, go with six cents not, over that. It doesn't really culturally I, it'll come up again out of those two. I'd rather watch Six Cents. Cars versus Catch Me Cars? If You Can. Oh, catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. Mm-hmm. Oh Leo and Tom. Mm-hmm. Goonies, which is a cool poster. That is an awesome Goonies um, poster. Versus Troy. Easy. Not a good movie. Fucking Goonies. Goonies. Tro- yeah. I don't even consider Troy like a bad movie. Like it's just like bad, a bad movie. It's just movie. like a uh, yeah. It's like uh, uh, there were so many movies coming out. Like that was was that around three hundred time. Or yeah. that was around Gladiator. Uh, uh, there was a lot of like those kind of a lot of those sandal, sandal sword, sandal, yeah. sandal sword movies. Yeah, so Goonies for sure. I'm probably wearing a skirt. This is our time. Yeah, Brad Pitt was gorgeous in it, but that's about it. So we got Avatar from 2009 <laughs> versus Con Air. Wow, Con Air. I actually this is like crazy. Con Air. I know this is crazy that it's a fucking Michael Bay movie versus a James, uh, Cameron. James Cameron movie, and I kind of would ra- if I had to watch. Avatar, beautiful. If I had Amazing. to say, if you right now, it's like, do you want to watch Avatar or Con Air? I'd say Con, Con Air. Air. First off, not a three-hour epic movie. No, and it's beautiful, but I'm not seeing that in 3D again. I, you know, I'll see it on a big screen. Malkovich Con is Air, great in Con off, Air. Everybody, like even uh, Steve Buscemi. I love his yeah. Steve Buscemi's character. Danny yeah. Trejo. Cage is huge. It's like uh, he worked out for that role. <laughs> uh... Dave Chappelle's it's just in a crazy it. Crazy fucking movie. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's a Nick great Cage's one, accents all over the map and it's terrible just, acting. I that, it's, that it's movie. Like, so, that movie is like, a great movie, and Nick Cage yeah. is the only one who acts badly in it. Yeah, but it's like it's it, it, like I but don't it's know. still fun. It's it's a fun. Yeah. So Con Air. It's like sorry, this is crazy. Wow. So this is I can't. Crazy. I yeah. This is we both matchups. Matchups make fights, man. Matchups make fights. <laughs> Avatar just <laughs> lost no a movie fucking math. Con There's Air. No movie There's math. no movie man. <laughs> this is like Avatar. This is the MMA of movies. Down goes Avatar. Because Con Down Air, g- Con Air, more well-rounded. Way more original story. It sounds like Sadly. Connor, too. Sadly. <laughs> sounds like Connor. Connor? Con Air. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. And look at the pose. That's where he got it. He's like, ah, I've got Con. All right, so Con Air over Avatar from Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? And just... I'm not saying the last Airbender M. Night Shyamalan movie, which is based on the cartoon Avatar. I'm talking about the 3D spectacle that was known as Avatar with blue people. This is kind of now a shit show. Now we've got show. The Italian Job, the remake with uh, Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. Versus Face Off with Nick Cage and John Travolta, John I... Woo. I got to 90... go Nick Cage again. Really? Fuck I yeah. was not really. F- I've only seen that when it came out when I was a kid, right? And I download or, or watched. Actually, I enjoyed it, but like the, I had problems with it, man. The acting and like the way John Woo filled shit, it's like so over dramatic. And then you have Nicolas Cage, yeah. So you have super over dramatic camera mixed with super over dramatic acting, yeah. I felt the like the Italian it worked. job had a great. Car chase, chase scene with the mini, it. which That's is it. better than the whole movie of no, Face Off. No. I'd rather rewatch that car scene when when they took the. I mean, uh, the concept Face off. Yeah, it's like but the concept though. I like. I mean, taking, and then they taking to act two like each other, taking two people who look so drastically. I mean, I'm different. going with Face Off. I'm not going to bend. I just wanted to try. But and argue Face Off a is bit. a terrible it's not, movie. They're both but not good. It had the At Italian least it's job. Trying to do something new is already a, a, a remake. Yeah, well, the face-off might be, too. It might be based on no. an Asian. It could be. I don't know. Well, if I it don't is, know if it's it is, something new. Italian Job was a classic movie. Mo- the it's Italian Job was story. a classic movie. Yeah. Oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the it's most the recent. remake. Yeah, the Johnny Depp stylies yes. versus uh, Masturbate with a Pussy. And- Tim Burton versus The Exorcist. I'm going The Exorcist. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, this is... How it works. <laughs> the Exorcist. Did you see it when it was re-released in theaters? No. Probably 99 to 2003. Oh, this is an easy one. Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible 2. 2. Another John Woo movie. <laughs> versus There's Something versus About there's Mary. There's Something About Mary, one of the last Cohen. No, Cohen? No, uh, Fairly, Fairly Brother movies. The other brother combos. Uh, there's Something About Mary. Absolutely. 100%. Although, you know, there's just something about that, that scene with Tom Cruise 
and Tandy Newton in their own cars spinning beautifully in slow motion on the edge of a cliff and miraculously they all survive. Is there a puke bucket around here? And uh, the 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 doves. There's always in every John Woo movie slow motion doves. Yes, it happens in the church and face off. Mm-hmm. It happens in this one during the close to the end with the motorcycle Ooh. chase. Okay, so John Woo. There, we're definitely going with there's is that hair gel? Yes. Over <laughs> there's something about Mary. Although t- that was Tandy Newton. That was like kind of she was in. Uh, Have you seen my baseball? She was in uh, uh, Riddick Chronicles of Riddick, I think. Ah, she's kind of like the I don't know. She's probably mixed or whatever. She's kind of like Zoe Saldana before Zoe Saldana. Yeah, I know who you're talking. That about. kind of like ambiguous, just kind of dark. It's just like oh, so hot, so hot. But that wasn't a good movie. Although I've watched that movie just for fun a, a lot of times. Three more. Oh Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll wrap this up. Uh, so we're going King Kong remake, two thousand five versus Starship Troopers. <sighs> Both not good. Both not good movies. Starship Troopers doesn't hold up. I've tried to rewatch it recently. Couldn't it's... couldn't really fucking hang with it for sure. B movie. I mean, as far as just quality of filmmaking, com- King Kong better, but mm, not Peter. the best storytelling. I mean, it's I kind still, of I gotta slow. Go. I even though I love. I don't mind Starship Troopers. Like yeah. it's got a a decent cast. Like mm-hmm. for back then, a bunch of a bunch of young kids. It's a bunch and stuff. of yeah. I don't know if any of them uh, became anything, Denise Richards, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. There's a cool. Uh, uh, there's a lot of boobs. Not a lot of boobs, but there's boobs. Some. There's some. There's, there's some co-ed shower scenes. The the alien bugs aren't shot that bad. They're still better than the sci-fi channels. I mean, channels it's a fucking... really well-made B movie for yeah. the, for the time. Ninety seven. It King looks Kong's... like a current B movie overly just reliant on fucking long. CG. It is so long. Peter Jackson. That uh, was a movie that I went to. I think I've only seen it the one time, and the sound towards the end started getting Jack fucked Jack Black kind of took me out of that movie. Yeah. I don't know. But but out it, of the two, if we had to watch, if I had to watch one or the other right now, I'd stay on, Starship Troopers. I don't troopers. know if I'm watching either of them. If I had to put one on, I wouldn't mind putting King Kong on again. Just because... There are some good scenes. Like, the the beginning's really cool when they go to the island. That was really... I mean, there's some cool shit that happens, but it's like... I'm a goddamn Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, but it's like, I'm not going to be paying attention to the whole... So why... Wait. If you had to bring one or the other back, you'd be like, hey, dinosaurs still exist, or we found a fucking giant monkey. I'd be like, hey, dinosaurs still exist. Look, we got one. Instead of bringing back just like... I mean, yeah. we already have giant people. Well, we like, can't. I mean, at, like, like, I mean, we got to remember what we're comparing this shit to. We can't go too deep. <laughs> it has to be very certain. These, neither of these movies. I'll bend again. King Kong, whatever. Okay. Like, that, this that's shit like, versus shit. Yeah, this is like presidential election. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trump versus Cruz. Who yeah. you want? Uh, Full Metal Jacket versus Jesus. Matrix this, Revolution. Full Metal Jacket came the, up a bunch. The third or the that's, second? Who cares? Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was the whole, it was the Matrix whole one. Trilogy? Yes, oh, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah. If it was the if first it was the one, first... it'd have been a little bit yeah. different. Alien versus Analyze This. Alien. Yeah. Have you seen Analyze? Yes. This? It's pretty funny. It's, Although that it's was right. the beginning. But of, Aliens. That was the beginning, beginning of, of a, a De Niro. Good... Kind of. He started doing the comedy thing. The the meet the meet the fuckers movies. Started doing these fucking that, movies, and they is, started doing all the. This is kind of the beginning. Of beginning it. of like, oh, I'll do comedies yeah. now. It's which oh, he was funny. Get in paid, it. man. Get paid. Yeah, I like those movies. Him with him and Billy, Billy Crystal, Crystal. Analyze this and analyze Great. that. Yeah, I enjoyed them. Uh, so Alien for sure. All right, last mm-hmm. one. I Robot versus Benji. <laughs> We've s- s- yes. I've definitely seen Benji. Uh, Fucking probably can't remember it, but I'd still love to go with Benji over iRobot because iRobot was not a good movie at all. Yeah, but, but it, at Benji all. The is CG wasn't is, going. Is, is, it sucks. It's not a good movie. No. It's fucking I just had a dog iRobot. That looked like the Benji. CG in iRobot so o- overall trying to do not that good that much all. of a movie in 04 in with stupid, CG. Stupid, lazy, and that was the beginning of the end for Will Smith. Will Smith and uh, it's the worst. 
more logical we'll than a dog robot. going on a fucking adventure all the way the across story. goddamn wherever. Yeah, but then why is there only one eye robot? And then there's Benji, and there's Far Away from Home, and there's uh, the other one, Milo and Otis. Because they had to add other animals because one animal couldn't carry it anymore. Well, Lassie had her own show. Mr. Long- Ed only had a scene in a barn show. But they had to have people with him. Yeah, but he Benji was just trying to carry a movie by itself. Well, then, so it's Benji versus Will Smith. I still want to lead towards Benji. He had a lot less life. He had a lot. Maybe he had earlier successes. If if we're going to break it down to that, I got one phrase. Okay. Fresh Prince Bel-Air. Which makes this worse. No. Because this is like Anderson Silva, what he's going to be doing when he just keeps losing fights because he doesn't want to finish them. That's... That's Will Smith's career right here. This is like weak shit. I gotta respect him for his earlier work. I'll then. still go with I Robot. Benji. I'll go with I Robot only because I owned a room but at one point and they were awesome. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Ultimate Movie Championship with Ray Taylor and Keith Spurlock. Follow Keith at Keith Spurlock One on Twitter. New episodes of the Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go purchase my original artwork over at InspiredDisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!